How's it going guys, it's Rich Yankee here, and in today's video we're going to be talking to you about my Samsung Galaxy Note 4. This device right here, and yes, I have Super Su running on it right now as we speak with root access. This is the Verizon variant, but this should work on Verizon or AT&T or actually any carrier, as long as your device is on KitKat. So, that being said, this should be a fun video. Um, a lot of development has gone into this to get this to function well for you guys and make it really simple and easy. So with that being said, let's go check this out. First, let's go ahead and show you guys the final product on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. So just to show you how this works or what we're working with here. I'm going to go ahead and this is root checker and I'm going to go ahead and see if we have root access on the SM-N910V so this is the uh, Verizon variant of the Note 4 this will also work on the AT&T and any other variants as long as you are on Android 4.4.4 so we're going to go ahead and there you go there is the super sue request go ahead and grant it and congratulations your device has root access that's the beautiful thing about this this is what we're trying to get accomplished is root access with super sue so that being said there's going to be a couple steps we're going to have to go through to do this and to accomplish this task number one um, you have to go ahead and turn on usb debugging and it's done in developer settings so to get developer settings on your device you can see it's right here in this little gray you go into about phone you find your build number right here this is for NJ5 now if you're already on lollipop um, you can go ahead and downgrade with Odin back to NJ5 it, it still lets you do that so if you want this root method you're gonna have to downgrade if you're already on lollipop if not you know NJ5s or any KitKat should function. So we're going to go ahead and tap on this about seven, ten times until it says you are already a developer. We'll go back. You have developer options. You're going to click on those. You're going to come up here where it says uh, developer options. Make sure it's turned on. And then right here it says USB debugging. Make sure that box is checked. That is first, first and foremost to get this process working. Now that we've got this much figured out, um, I've already got mine rooted, but we're going to go ahead and go to my computer and show you how we get this all fully accomplished. Another thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you guys download, go into my file browser, and I'll give you links to this, so no big deal, but make sure this file is on your device. So mine's in downloads. Um, right there, it's king root. So we're going to use this application for initial root, and then we're going to go ahead and get super sue functioning. So, you're going to see. Alright, let's shoot over to my computer. Alright guys, so from here we're going to download some files. So, first file you're going to need to download is the Samsung drivers. This is really important that you guys get this installed so that you can run the next tool we're going to run. Besides that, come over here to, and I'll give you links to this so you'll find them. Come over here, this is rootjunkiesdl.com, it's like my server site. Come over here to Galaxy Note 4. And again, like I said, this will work on Verizon or AT&T or any variant on KitKat. And go to KitKat root. And right here is that King Root application that you're going to need on your device. And then right here is the Super Sue Me um, zip. And this is what's going to help us install Super Sue and get it fully functioning on your device. All right. So download those files. I've already got mine downloaded. And they are here. Go ahead and run the driver files. I've already done that so many times on my computer, it's ridiculous. But go ahead and run them. Make sure you've got the latest drivers so they're on there. All right. Once you've got that done, this is your Super Sumi zip. Go ahead, open it up. I use a 7-zip, and then you just hit extract them. And I've actually extracted mine to uh, right here, Super Sumi folder. So we're going to open up that folder, and you're left with all of the files you're going to need to get this task accomplished. Now, this has been made into a batch file, which just makes this seamless. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and run the batch file. And right here, it basically tells you, please reboot your device um, and root with king root. So to do that, 
right now you can see I'm on here we're gonna go ahead and reboot restart device okay all right very good all right it's fully rebooted now just to make sure before you start this process slide through here and you see I have super sue installed go ahead and make sure you uninstall any any super sues or super user applications that you've tried to install to try to get this functioning make sure they're all cleared off your device and all this looks good so from here let's go ahead and plug in our USB cable to our computer so we'll go ahead and do that and when this happens if your drivers have never installed they're gonna go ahead and install um, that might take a little bit here and then the other thing you want to do is go in here to connect as installer make sure that the media device is checked that's also very important and now you're good everything should be good to go and we can go ahead and run our different tools so the first thing you're gonna do is come in here to file browser and go to where you downloaded um, your king root file go ahead and click on that hit next install and go ahead I understand install anyway open application and let's see if we can get this thing rooted so go ahead and click root so this is the first process so what king root does is it gives you root access on the note 4 but right now all the root access we have is what we would call temporary root access or maybe more officially I guess would be root access that's lost every time you reboot your device which really stinks that's still what we're working with right now we're working to get it more permanent and figure out a way to get around and bypass um, right protect on the device but one thing at a time so one thing that you can do is do what's called soft reboots and if you just do soft reboots you can still reboot the device and not lose root access so that's something we'll talk about a little bit more here in the video so you should see this come up say I understand install anyway and then the script is gonna very quickly finish so from here you can go ahead and just hit that button and you can see it installed all these applications which we really don't want on our device we only want super sue and that's what the scripts gonna do so we should be all ready to rock let's go ahead and continue on in the script so here we go guys we're gonna go ahead and say press any key to continue and um, basically allow right here popped up on your device and just wait for a second so right now it's gonna hold and blocking all Knox activity removing all king root applications those three applications we just saw are now being removed now it's installing super SU and it basically talks about opening by uh, opening up super SU which you can see is right there go ahead and click on it go ahead and hit continue hit normal very important that you do it just like that don't hit twerp we don't have twerp recovery on our device so let this go ahead and finish up shouldn't take too long it is a pretty quick process normally there you go installation successful do not press the reboot if you do you'll have to start the whole process over just hit OK and hit no thanks and there you go super sue is installed very awesome alright from here it says press any key to continue once you've updated the sue binaries which we just have so we'll press any key and now it's gonna go ahead and ask again for root access with super sue so grant that and it's gonna go ahead and clean up all of the stuff that king root has installed in the background and just delete it all so that you're running officially super su on your device which is really awesome so i just want to give a big shout out to the developers of this um, that's going to be gates jr uh... myself root junkie did a lot of testing and uh... discussing how to get this working um, and uh... Let's see who else do we have we had surge working on it a little bit with us and also uh, i wish i could say his name Ham has bra. I don't even know how to say his name, his username. Anyway, um, so a couple guys. You'll see it in the in the post about it.
from here it just talks to you says basically press any key and then the phone will do a soft reboot so we're gonna go ahead and press any key and here you go you can see the phone is doing a soft reboot it's not doing a full reboot because otherwise you'd have a different screen there but you do see a soft reboot and you can use soft reboots and still keep root access so let's go ahead and swipe open come in here again we'll just go ahead and look at super sue application and you should see that we've granted it yeah adb shell we're gonna come into root checker one more time and just see that you have root access should get a pop-up normally it's a little bit slow now you can go ahead and press any key on your computer screen close out that application and you're done on the computer and there is the root access pop-up so go ahead and grant it congratulations your device has root access that is the full procedure really not too hard within you know about six minutes you can have root on your Samsung Galaxy Note 4, Verizon, AT&T, all variants. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, just big shout outs to developers. Again, we're going to try to continue development on this device. And if we can't get right protect off for the system, we're going to try to find a way to launch a custom ROM or do something with it. So we're going to keep continuing work on it. I uh, hope you guys stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be covering a lot of fun devices. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.